Welcome to the Sophistic Online Documentation. In this video of the Composite Bridge tutorial, we show how to define the design combinations and how to do the superpositioning. Here we will use a text input for module Maxima. So I first create a text task. paste the input that I prepared and I will explain it now so that you can also adapt and modify it for your specific project if necessary. So first, what is our goal? We want to define design combinations and create superposition load cases where the results of the superposition are stored. For this purpose, we have defined actions in the action manager and assigned load cases to these actions. Now, to do the superpositioning, we first define the combinations. I will start with the combination for the ultimate limit state design check. So yeah, you can see the formula from the Eurocode for that. And now I define the, define the combination by assigning first the number, respectively ID to it, and then state that I would like to have a combination for the ultimate limit state here with this literal DC. And next, I define the actions that should be used in this combination. So here I add the actions G1 and G2 for the dead load, C1 for the creep and shrinkage until traffic opening, the actions for the traffic load, GRU and GRT that we defined and filled previously, and then the actions for temperature and settlements. Note that how these actions are considered in the superpositioning is defined by their properties in the action manager. Note that you also can redefine properties of actions for the specific combinations like I did here for example by setting the partial safety factor for secondary effects of creep and shrinkage to 1.35. Next, we define which superposition load cases should be created. And this is done with the sub command. Here, we first specify the result item that should be maximized or minimized in the superposition by defining the element type. Here, DSLN for design elements and the result type here, for example, bending moment MY or shear force reset. And we define a load case where the results of each superposition should be stored. Of course, we have to specify which combination rule and actions should be applied. For this, we reference the previously defined combination by its number. And we can define a title for the created load cases. Note that I limited myself to just investigate the combinations for MY and reset because I suppose that these will be the relevant ones for the composite girders that are predominantly subjected to uniaxial bending. If further result types like, for example, a torsional moment MT are relevant in your project, please add the corresponding lines here and adjust them. Okay, because Primary effects of creep and shrinkage play a role in our design checks. We generally have to investigate two states for the design checks. The state at traffic opening, so with the least creep and shrinkage effects, and the state at the end of the life cycle, so with maximum creep and shrinkage. As you can see here, I first created the superposition for the state at traffic opening. I did this by applying only the action C1 that carries the effects of creep and shrinkage until traffic opening. Next, I will create the state at the end of the bridge life cycle by copying the created input. And adding the action C2, which carries the effects of creep and shrinkage from traffic opening until end of the bridge life cycle. 
As we have a new combination, we have to adjust the combination in load case numbers. So I will here assign number two. Also adjust the title and of course the load case numbers. Okay, so we now have created the design combinations for the ultimate limit state. Next, we will do the same for the combinations in the serviceability limit state. So, as you can see here, the characteristic, also called rare combination, and the frequent and quasi-permanent combinations. I will paste the input. And explain the few differences to the input for the ultimate limit state. So now starting with the rare or characteristic combination, we can see that we also create here combinations at traffic opening and at the end of the bridge life cycle. The main difference between what we created previously is that we now assign as combination rule rare. And now, of course, as we have a new combination and new load cases that should be created, we have to adapt the combination and load case numbers. So you can see here I assigned 11 and 12 and also adapted the load case numbers. We do the same for the frequent combination and also for the quasi-permanent one. And now we can run the task and take a look at the created design envelopes. Results, design elements, forces, and for example, taking bending moment MY and selecting corresponding load cases, as you might remember, assigned load case 3001 for max MY envelope. And yeah, you can see I can find this here also for min MY. So this was now state at traffic opening. I have the same here for state at T infinity, so the end of the bridge life cycle and so on, also for the rare and frequent and quasi-permanent combinations. Okay, now we can go to the design checks for the composite girders. For this, see you in the next video to check the ultimate limit state.